Hello everybody, my name is Giacomo Capabianca and this is my NIL Awareness Program. To get started, a little bit about me. I'm a former collegiate athlete. Um, this week, I'm graduating with a Master's in Professional Communications. Over the past year, I've conducted two research papers advocating NIL education, and one of those papers was selected for the NIL Network website. This past summer, I did an internship at Texas A&M, where I learned about their NIL department and compliance. I also had the opportunity to join the first ever annual NIL summit in Atlanta, Georgia at the College Football Hall of Fame. I'm a genuine advocate for sports education and I'm passionate about helping student athletes build their brand and help their entrepreneurship skills for after their playing career. NIL is the most significant thing to ever happen in college sports. How did it all start? Well, first, the Supreme Court ruled in July 2001 that college athletes were allowed to be paid and monetize their NIL. Second, the NCAA adopted a set of interim policies that we, that we still follow today. And to compete with other states, Ohio made a state law that was changed so college athletes could take advantage of their NIL opportunities. NIL caused a revolution in college athletics. All right, so what does NIL really mean? Well, it is a legal concept that refers to a person's right of publicity. And I will show you three examples how it applies to Youngstown State student athletes. First off, name on the back of the jersey or playing cards. Second, image, autographs and starring in local commercials. And third, likeness, your avatar, your social media following. And maybe you could star in an upcoming video game like NCAA 14. Now I'm going to take a deep dive into my project and look at my client, YSU's athletic program. Youngstown State's athletic program has over 19 men and women's sports with over 500 student athletes under the leadership of my client, athletic director, Ron Schrollo. Executive order signed by Governor Michael DeWine, YSU's athletic department, partnered with Open Doors, an NIL technology company to provide online education and resources for student athletes. Youngstown State is the first, one of the first mid-major schools in the nation to launch a dedicated NIL marketplace dedicated for student athletes. YSU student athletes could set up an account on Open Doors, create a bio, profiles, reels, and followers and fans and local companies can pay the Penguin players for NIL activities such as social media posts, appearances, videos, and more. Open Doors also has educational resources called Open Doors Ready for Youngstown State student athletes. Youngstown State Athletics is to increase awareness about the Open Doors platform and the tools available to help student athletes. It will build their personal brand and they will be trained about responsible brand building on social media. Y2 Athletics offers their student athletes valuable online resources to monetize their NIL. But first year data shows that less than half the student athletes have an Open Doors account and only 10% of athletes have actually contracted a deal. Okay, so what are the benefits of increasing NIL activities? So first off, the YSU Athletic Department and its student athletes will connect with local companies and build relationships. Now, NIL deals are an important component of the recruiting process now for collegiate athletics. NIL deals correctly with student athletes will put more money in their pocket with student athletes will put more money in their pocket and reduce stress so they have more time to focus on academics and athletics. Student athletes also could learn practical skills such as entrepreneurship, brand building, financial literacy by engaging in NIL activities. Student athletes will create a network for themselves that may benefit them after they leave YSU and enter their professional career. So my NIL awareness project 
My client and I decided it would be best to offer an NIL class for YSU student athletes, but with a limited budget and staff, we decided we were going to go with writing samples that consist of blogs and posters. The blogs and posters purpose was to promote open doors and provide information to help student athletes engage in NIL activities. Everyone loves a quick read, especially student athletes that never read their email. Um, they support images, links, and videos, and my blogs are written in first-person perspective of YSU student athletes and local companies. User test. So I conducted an NIL survey and a user test with Youngstown State student athletes, and what I discovered: half the students did not set up an Open Doors account, and 60% said they have never used the NIL Resource Center. Um, Another piece of information I gathered was YSU student athletes did not feel confident about engaging in NIL activities and they wanted to know more about personal branding and how to contact with companies. Um, some of the younger players I met with did not know how social media and their brand connected for NIL. Um, also, YSU student athletes wanted more NIL education. They wanted to help them identify what was confusing and what is prohibited to keep them eligible. So part of my research process is I investigated the top 10 best NIL programs in the country. And I picked four here, Michigan State, Evergreen, Apex, Florida State, The Flight, Iowa, and Ohio State, The Platform. The best programs around the country, I conducted that these programs goal was to increase student athletes understanding of NIL rights and receive training and resources to enhance their NIL earning potential. All these programs share a common feature. They want to improve the student athletes experience, bottom line. They, are, they care about training their student athletes in responsible brand building on social media. Um, most of these programs offer a class that's mandatory for freshman student athletes to take and perform um, an NIL deal for the final requirement. Um, but instead, at Youngstown State, my client and I, Mr. Strollo, decided that blogs and posters would be the first thing to get people interested in increasing their NIL activity. So my client, Mr. Strollo, and my capstone professor, Dr. Adam Hernhart, collaborated with me to make a podcast series with different attorneys all over the country representing student athletes. And he said, to get student athletes prepared, you need to get into their mindset. So that's why my client, Mr. Strollo, decided that blogs and posters in a first-person perspective would be the best to get our student athletes ready for an NIL class that be, may be, be taken over the summer. Um, I had a wonderful year with you, Dr. Adam Hernhardt. I hope this presentation um, can help you on your journey of making the curriculum for that class. Um, if you want to listen to my four mini series podcasts with attorneys and Michelle Meyer, that is the founder of NIL Network, they will be on my YouTube page as well. I hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Go Gwens!